All hail Cholula! 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 Greetings and welcome back to another Cholula Tastic episode of the podcast. I'm your host, as always. Jason Oliveira. And with us today are all three of the Cholula salsas that they've released. We've got the Salsa Verde, we've got the original, we've got the Smoky Chipotle. And if you're really interested, you can go back here and you can check out where I did the review for the original one. Now, I brought this in the room just so we can compare it today to the other two. But as you can see, or perhaps you can't see, I've pretty much devoured all of it. That tells you how much I really love the salsa. Cholula makes great products. And we've got a, there's a few comments down here that disagree, but I really enjoyed this. Um, you know, we all have different palates and that's okay in this world. Something that somebody finds gross, someone else might find delightful. You never know. And of course, we're going to go with the Tostitos traditional uh, tortilla. I think it's a pretty good staple. If you're going to a party, bring that. Don't bring the store brand. It's okay if you like the store brand for home, but if you're going to go to a party, you know, keep it classy. Just as a reminder for myself, I'm going to start with the original. I'm going to have to dump it out, though. I don't think, well, I might be able to pour it onto a chip. We'll see. Hmm. All right. Everybody always has their go-to shape or like, you know, size for a chip. Like this isn't quite what I love. I like a little bit of a scoop. This is a little bit too much of a scoop. Nonetheless, I think I can pour it in here into the valley of this chip. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, make it sexy. Here we go. Original Cholula salsa down the hatch. Growing up, I never liked the chunky salsa, but the older I got, the chunkier it was, chunkier it was, the better I thought it was. And in most cases, there are some like loose salsas, like the salsa verde, which are perfect just the way they are. But if you go with like a traditional salsa, I really prefer something like this. And I really feel like either the cut or the vegetables in here are very different than the, the ones you would find in a store brand or a Tostitos or any other kind of salsas you'd find. That's what I like about this. It's the uniqueness of it. It's not just a, a go-to. Like, they could have just put out your basic salsa, and I still would have enjoyed it because I like a basic salsa. But they took a chance, went above and beyond, and created amazing salsa. Let's go on to the salsa verde. I am not normally a salsa verde guy. Like, I won't go out of my way to get it, but I do enjoy it. Like, if that's what's at a party and I'm dipping chips, I'm, I'm, I'll, go, I'll go salsa verde any day. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is the poblano pepper in this that makes it a little different. I could be wrong about that. It's much more watery, but, um, you know, that was to be expected with a salsa verde. I'm going to go for it. Here we go. Positive's the way she wants me. It takes a lot to make me cry. Did you ever feel like sharing lonely? Normally when I go for a salsa, I want it to be a little bit hot. This one's got a little kick to it, if you know what I'm saying. But it's got a, a nice tang as well. Good combination of flavors. Chunky, chunk, chunkier than I would have expected, which I appreciate. All around, super fabulous. We'll score them at the end. Let's move on to the smoky chipotle. And just in case you were wondering, this is a mild, this is a medium, and this is a hot. Which, I mean, come on, Cholula. Really? Is it going to be that hot? I mean, I guess it's going to be the hottest of the three, which I respect. Ooh, that is a dark, nasty, molasses-y color. Oh, you can't see that. It's all right. It's okay. Just trust me. Definitely smells smoky. I didn't smell the first one. Let me smell it. Mm -hmm. Just like it tastes. I hope that tastes just like it smells, too, because that smells delightful. Let's grab a chip and find out. On today's episode of the Vodcast. Okay, that's a little bit closer to what I like in a chip. When I'm looking for a chip, that's about it. It's got a little bit of a curvature. You can go either way with it. Let's dig in and see how the uh, smoky Chipotle Cholula Salsa is. Oh, it is blood red. <laughs> I forgot this was the hot one. got the heat it's a quick like punch you in the mouth heat and then it dissipates relatively well it's still in my mouth now whoo i didn't think i was gonna be doing a hot review today yikes i have to add this to the hot playlist if you've never seen the hot playlist i'll see if i can share it here it's all the things that i've done that are hot 
And pretty soon I'll be doing the Mad Dog Plutonium number nine. We're going to mix it in with either the chili from Wendy's or... That's right. I finally found it. This is one of my my recent holy grails as far as snacks and treats and food and lunches go. Uh, this is the SpaghettiOs Spicy Original with Red Hot. I wish they had buttoned the meatballs in here, but putting? I wish they'd put the meatballs in here. I think I would have enjoyed it a little bit more. Nonetheless, uh, we're going to find out how that tastes, and the plutonium's going in one of them. I don't know which one, but we'll figure it out. We'll do a vote. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below. Chili? Well, I guess we got to do the review for this first. So we'll do a review of this first. You'll have the two reviews to look at, and then you can let me know where I should put the plutonium. It's a funny thing to say. I hope I'm not getting flagged for that. Remember back in the day, the guy. So taking a step back from the heat part of this, um, it's good, but I really, really am not a huge fan of Chipotle salsas, or I usually avoid Chipotle anything flavored. When Taco Bell came out with their little packets that had the Chipotle, I was so excited, tried it. I was right. I don't really love it. It's not bad, and it's not something that I avoid. It's just something that I would prefer to not have compared to, say, the original or a salsa verde if I'm eating some kind of traditional Mexican or Spanish meal. That being said, if you are a Chipotle fan, I will say that this is definitely a little different than your average Chipotle. It's obviously Chipotle when you're eating it, but there is a, more of a smokiness maybe to it than I'm used to. Uh, it's been a while since I've had any other Chipotle, though, so that could just be my taste buds not remembering Chipotle to a T. I think I gave this an 8. I may have even given it a 9. I really liked it. I don't think I gave it a 10. Uh, this is how forgetful I am. I swear this was less than like a month and a half ago, and I can't remember what I gave it, but I know it was way in the upper echelons, the upper tiers, the, uh, the hierarchy of, of salsa is the go-to for me now. Salsa Verde, you know what? If I need a Salsa Verde, this is the one I'm going to. And so I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I really, really enjoyed it. I will finish this just as I finish this one. Uh, the Smoky Chipotle, it's not for me, but I'm sure it's for a lot of people. And because of that, I'm going to give it a 7.5. I still think it's pretty good for what it is. For someone who doesn't really enjoy Chipotle, go for it, man. You'll love it. And of course, I want to give a huge thanks to Tim, one of my viewers, for suggesting this. I'd love to talk to you all about it in the comments below. Sorry it took so long to get this video out. The problem being is that I got on a scheduling conflict error issue. Um, I had to reroute the encryptions and reformat some databases. <laughs> uh, because of scheduling issues, this took a little bit of while to get out. So here it is. Thank you very much. I appreciate you very much. And if you guys are loving watching the content that I'm creating as much as I love creating the content that you guys are watching, you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and then hit that little bell icon because it'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today. Tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it, because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most. If no one has told you today that they love you, the vodcast loves you very much just the way you are. All right, guys. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the vodcast. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Take care, everybody. Don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket. <laughs> mm -mm.